So, I want to protect my grapes this year. I'm a little late, but here are my grapes. I'm surprised they're still here. Because usually every year, I need to fix this vining situation as well. But it also looks good on the other side of the fence. So, I need to figure something out. Because I actually do like the way it's growing outside the fence. Um, but I'm going to cover these with this netting that he's over here playing with. I don't know. I'll put the description and the size. No. Hold on. Let me put it on the fence so y'all can see it a little bit. But this is the size of the net. So I'm just going to cover it and again against the birds. I was saying the yard is fenced in so I don't really see squirrels or we don't have deer or anything like that so I'm going to use this for the birds I'm also going to use this for my blueberries and see what happens so all you're going to do is just wrap it around and I have it in a container so it should make it a little easier for me to cover this thing up So here it is, all covered up. It also has a drawstring, so it makes it easier for things not to get in. And I ended up pulling the vine out, um, and now I'm covering it up. That way everything can fit into the netting. I'm like, it keeps the birds, but this little one, little dog, <laughs> loves the netting apparently. All right, so watch your animals for them trying to tear it and pull it off. Ain't that right, Connor? Connor! <laughs> All right, here I have two blueberry bushes. And I see some eating already. You see that? They didn't pick them, so I'm a little behind. But I'm about to cover it up. And here's the other one. Those aren't ready yet, but what are these, actually? Yo, these are grapes. I remember talking about their blueberries. I knew they looked like grapes. So I have more grapes. They should be purple. Um, they're Concord grapes. Might as well get the weeds out while I'm here. Seems like weeds are really out of control this year. And I need to put mulch in here. That's one thing I didn't do this year. But no worries. Anyways, I have more grapes here. Those are vining as well. But because of the size of my netting, I can actually use one to cover this whole thing. All right, the blueberries and grapes are done for the most part. So on to the apple trees. All right, so walking up to one of the apple trees. I don't think nuts have been eaten off of it yet. But just as a precaution, I am covering it up. And again, remember how large and long my bags were? He's trying to get it. I'm just going to cover it up. And then there's one on the end if it even makes it. And the great thing about the bags is the sun can still get to it. And you can still water them. And you may want to uncover them during the day or not. But yeah, so we're going to start covering this one up.
I needed a chair to get up there. But look, y'all, see the long bag actually covered the apple tree? And that left one exposed. But it's one is better than like 15 apples. So yeah, I had to use a chair to cover it up, but it covered it right on up. So now I have another one to do. And that'll help protect from those little stinky birds. But again, I have but um flowers for them. I have seeds and bird baths. So again, I still like the birds coming around, but I don't want them tearing everything up. So yeah, so this is the apple tree covered. <music> still see the fruit those have definitely been getting eaten i want that one covered as well give it a chance all right y'all covered two apple trees two grape vines a blueberry bush did i say a fig tree i have another fig tree over here but i ran out of the um i thought i had six i guess i bought five but there's no fruit on it right now, so there's no need to cover it up. So I'm definitely going to invest in some more. But y'all, I'll let you know how it goes. But so far, so good. I still have fruit, so I think we'll be good. But if you're having issues with birds um, and all of that, I would definitely recommend investing in those nettings. Or you could just go buy some net or use, I used the old badminton net one year. And now the holes are a little bigger, but it's still a deterrent. Something is better than nothing. I'm trying to think what else. I also used a trampoline screen um, one year. When we threw it out, I used the parts for other things. So yeah, use what you have until you get some, because things are pricey. What is it, Connor? Huh? <laughs> what is it? You want to be picked up all right y'all so that's it um and hopefully we have a good harvest by the end of the spring or the summer um we can actually enjoy the fruits of our labor y'all i just caught a bird sitting on top of the net on the grapes and blueberries he thought he was getting some mm, but you're not look at him y'all man i'm trying to get my phone out but you know in time he was sitting right on the net and he quickly got on. He don't like that thing. And I see I need to cover it up some more at the bottom. Y'all, we literally sitting out here as it was happening in real time. I should set a camera out here to see, to catch them little things. But y'all, it literally sat on the net and took off. Got him. You like grapes? Huh? You like grapes, buddy? Mm. Mm. I would even say you could use like pillowcases and probably sheets um, or a very thin piece of fabric and just tie it at the bottom. Like I said, it ain't got to be all like this. I like it like this, that way I can see through it um, and it was available. Again, use what you have. It don't have to be pretty. Um, 